All right, Andy Broadway here. I'm at CES 2025, and I'm here with... Timothy Tanksley. I'm the Director of Marketing for Rich Tech Robotics. So what is your claim to fame? I'm seeing three robotics here. I'm seeing some tray. I'm going to call them trays, but they're not trays. They're the delivery robots. Yes. Uh, and I'm seeing a bunch of other stuff here. But tell us, where where is your niche at? Yeah, so we're a provider of collaborative robotic solutions. Uh, we're based here in Las Vegas, and essentially we help the service industry be more efficient and reassign their human workers to more valuable tasks. So that breaks down to hospitality, uh, healthcare, things like warehouse and logistics, hotels, casinos, you name it, retail operations. Uh, we have a few of our robots here. The one behind me is Adam, um, and uh, to the left and right is Scorpion, which is Adam's little brother. So Adam and Scorpion are AI-driven robotic arm platforms. So we've been training them for the past few years to be expert robot bartenders and baristas. So you may have seen them deployed at uh, a few Walmarts or maybe uh, where the Texas Rangers play as a bartender. Um, some of the other robots you pointed out are we call them AMRs, Autonomous Mobile Robots, um, and essentially they deliver items from point A to point B to uh, just help increase efficiencies across multiple businesses. So you're not really looking to try to get rid of employees, you're just trying to be more efficient and the repetitive task over and over and over again, that's where the robots come into play. Absolutely, like I said, so they're collaborative robots. So this MedBot robot, for example, it transports medications across hospitals. That job is normally done by pharmacy techs who are trained on a whole slew of skills. All the way at the bottom is just running back and forth all day with medications in their pocket. If the robot can do that, um, then the pharmacy techs can work on more valuable skills. So where we've deployed that, we've actually seen higher job retention for those roles. Right. And, that, and that makes sense. You don't want to give a job like that that all they're doing is walking from point A to point B when they could be somewhere else. That's really where, you know, a lot of people think AI is going to replace them, right? right. And it's not really about that. It's about adapting and understanding, right? Absolutely. So that's where this will come into play. So you have a demo you're going to show us over here. Yeah, let's go over here. We're going to uh, see the Scorpion pick up a pen and then work in collaboration with our delivery robot. Right okay, cool, cool. So yeah, that's our maitre d' uh, delivery robot back there. It's normally used to deliver food um, from the kitchen to uh, the dining floor in restaurants. And this is our Scorpion robot. So while it's doing that, what are some of the sensors in the front here? Uh, is, that, um, is that sensing people standing in front of it? Absolutely. So this camera right in front is a NVIDIA camera. And essentially what that allows the Scorpion to do is detect when people approach so it can begin to engage them in conversation. So this robot can actually make custom drinks based off the customer's mood and preference. Let's move over here real quick. The robot's coming our way. Um, and so that camera allows it to know when to start talking so it's not just yelling into the void, if that makes sense. <laughs> if somebody walks up to it, then it's going to say, it's going to start a conversation. Why the long face? Can I get you a drink? Those kind of things. So it's actually picking up facial features. Yeah, so it, it detects faces. So, um, And then from there, it begins to engage them in conversation. You can ask it things like relationship advice. You can ask it to tell it a joke. Um, but ultimately, since we've trained that one as a bartender, it'll uh, assume that it wants to go back to serving drinks. Right, okay. So by default, it goes right back to what its main job is. But in the middle, it's kind of acting like a bartender. Absolutely, yeah. So it always uh, it's a very focused robot, right? And that's one thing that's a benefit of these robots is they never get distracted so and um, the, the funny thing is is now we're, there's no tip jar here I noticed for the robot itself I just hope somebody doesn't add it to, to, to it that would be kind of funny no, yeah, yeah. no tip features we've done some sun, fun social media videos around do you tip the robot or not but yeah no tipping features for sure <laughs> Exactly. Okay, where do we find out more information? Give us a website. Yeah, absolutely. So you can go to richtechrobotics.com, um, and if you fill out the form, if you happen to, it goes right to me. So would love to talk with you. Well, great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate Pleasure. it.